So I was really curious if mycelium material would be a good material for making a placemat. I spent four hours last night researching online before I came to the idea of trying mycelium. Maybe I could find a silicone or rubber placemat. And then I found that in a lot of the silicone placemats, it's not really silicone, it's just mislabeled PVC material, which I don't want to be touching when I'm at dinner. I wanted something that's totally healthy. So we have our mycelium, and what we're going to try is filling this growth form that's in the shape of a placemat and then we're going to eat on it for a couple months and see how it performs. So let's begin this design experiment. So it's been four months since we've created the placemat, so we're going to see how they held up. As you can see here, the placemats are not doing so well. They have a lot of ring marks from hot bowls and ring marks from drinks that have been put down on them. They also are taking on stains uh, pretty heavily. Now every good experiment needs a control to prove that something actually is happening. So this is a placemat that we didn't use over the four months, and this is what it looks like, completely untouched. So we have from this to this. I would say this is not a great application for the mycelium. It doesn't really hold up to the conditions required to operate as a placemat. Stay tuned for more design experiments where we decide what mycelium is good and what it is not good at. Keep an eye out on our Ecovative YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.